Good morning, good morning. Uh, may I say good afternoon? It's a little afternoon right now, about 14 minutes. Um, you know, when I got up this morning, I was doing my Bible study, and I heard the Lord say, you know, we're always ministering. Come on, somebody, I'm going in hard, straight to the point. God said that our life is ministry. We're all, we're all ministers, period, end of story. The question is, what type of minister are you? Now, I'm going to break this thing down as simply as I can so understand everything you do is ministry whether it's good or bad I don't know if you realize that you know a lot of people like to say well I'm not a star I'm not famous I'm not a mentor yes you are everything that you do is is ministry come on somebody everything that you do is ministry because you have to understand people are watching you whether it's family whether it's friends whether it's co-workers whether it's a husband or wife everybody's you're under scrutiny so you're always ministering so my question is what are you ministering are you sowing good seed you understand what i'm saying are you sowing good seed so you have to understand what's happening somebody trying to call me while i'm doing this god hallelujah so I want to go ahead and break this thing down for you. God says that everything we do is ministry. And I, some of you are not going to like what I'm have to say, but that's fine. You know how I roll anyway. Everything you do. So when you sow in discord, are you acting like a, a minister of God or are you acting like a minister of the devil? When you, as a matter of fact, let, let's go. Let, let's break it down from the elite all the way to the little simple person. The elite, who are, who, what ministers are they? They're ministers of Satan. The powers to be are ministers of Satan because guess what? In chaos, they always turmoil. Come on, somebody. Pandemonium. They're always doing Satan's job. So whatever spirit that you're operating in, that's what ministry you have. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can say what you want to say. And you confront all day long. We know who you are by your fruit. The Bible says that you will know them by their fruit. Come on, somebody. We're fruit inspectors. You know how is your fruit is it really good fruit or is it stale fruit you know jesus cursed the fig tree because guess what it wouldn't even produce righteous fruit. come on somebody hallelujah i want to go ahead and give you characteristics of ministers of god and i'm gonna tell you some characteristics of ministers of satan and i'm gonna say it again we are all ministers how are you ministering let's go here all right so the elite you know they minister fear chaos trying to kill people right Hollywood, what they minister? Lust, drugs, alcohol, fame. Oh, y'all gonna get it in a minute. So, all right, singers, rappers, death, murder, mayhem, whatever comes out of your mouth, that's what you ministering. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You see, people be trying to play that game, but honey, we know who you are by the words that you speak, the actions that you do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So we know what minister you are. You can't fake no more, hallelujah, because the Spirit of God will reveal as a matter of fact in this hour god says that you will expose your stuff by your actions your words your deeds you don't have to do anything anymore just sit back and you don't have to be a prophet oh come on somebody hallelujah. all you got to do is just watch god says in this hour he says he is allowing people to expose everything about themselves all you got to do is listen to what they do and watch what they um listen to what they say and watch what they do said the lord now let me tell you six characteristics of ministers of god okay and I'm going to scripture here. First, 11, one says, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. The second characteristic, 317, Philippians 317 says, John with us following my example, brothers, and take a note of those who live according to the pattern we gave you. Paul is a model and his ministry should be our constantly study in this lesson. We learn characteristics of effective ministries. Okay, so let's go here. Um praise god praise god okay so what paul is referring to and also christ is said to his disciples in john 15 20 says no servant is greater than his master if they persecuted me, they will also my teachings they will obey yours christians suffered the persecution that their master would if they're still on the earth my question to y'all is if you ain't gone through nothing what minister are you if you always lie to god, oh man i'm Y'all don't want this to touch y'all. And y'all don't want the truth. But let me tell you the truth. If the world loves you, do are you really a child of God? You can say what you want to say. I really don't care. 
If the world loves you, are you truly a child of God? Uh, you can say what you want. We're talking about scripture here. All right. So the second one is how Christ suffered. His believers will suffer. You know, if you ain't never going through nothing, and I'm not saying everything got to um, always somebody hallelujah, but persecution is one of the first things, the characteristics that we go through. Being lied on. Come on, somebody hallelujah. He says that they will do the same thing that they did to me. Come on, somebody hallelujah. The second characteristic is we have to endure hardship like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Second Timothy 2, 3. Are you enduring? Are you going through? Or are you complaining? Or are you trying to get people back? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Characteristic number three, we should have a good attitude. I'm not talking about you have to be perfect every day. But we should have joy. We should be um, positive. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Just going, um, sowing good seeds. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sowing good seeds among the people of God. Encouraging the people of God. Provoking people. Actually leading people to God. That's another characteristic. Not to yourself. Not like you great. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm always aware of all these people that want all these followers. Let me tell you something. You follow, you follow, you don't, whatever. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm, I'm flat. Please don't look at me. Hallelujah. Now, you can, you can see the spirit of God in me and follow the spirit of God, but don't follow me. Y'all don't hear what I said. Hallelujah. We got to start following. God, not people. All right, that's another characteristic. Minister of Satan, they follow people. Who's the greatest thing? Who's the, who's the idol of this world? Y'all ain't somebody. Hallelujah. So another characteristic is honesty and integrity, and honor. If you are truly a man or woman of God, you operate in honor and integrity. You're not gonna be lying, straying, playing, having sex with your members. You heard? You get the drift? You understand what I'm saying? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Another characteristic is you you will have some kind of uh, feeling of the Holy Ghost. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You will be spirit filled. You're not going to be filled with this world. Yeah, I said how I said. You can get mad all day long, and I know some of you are not going to like it. But it's tight, but it's right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You should not supposed to, you are not supposed to be. So if you are truly a minister of God, child of God, an ambassador of Christ, then there should be some Christ-like features. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the last one is, that's to be demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost. If there's no demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost and all you got is, I say what I say. If all you doing, and, and, and y'all don't want this to tell y'all, that's how you know that that's what they do. Most of them have the gift to gab, but you don't feel the anointing. No, you don't. No, you don't. And when people have the gift to gab, it'll feel like the anointing. Oh, come on, somebody. How some good ones. I mean, they'll make you come out your wallet. Hallelujah. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying. Praise God. Praise God. But when you feel the power of the Holy Ghost, there's a stir in the inside because it's not us. It's God. Come on. You will know. So now, how do, how do you know the characteristics of Satan? Always causing confusion. Always worldly. Always looking to um, cater to the world. Some pastors, preachers, teachers, all they talk about is speed and this and that. God, that's not all God's. God is dimensional. God will never tell you just talk about stars and um, prosperity. And God will, God is a balanced God. God wants you saved in every area of your life. But what is it to know all that and you don't know him? What is that to know all that? with him what is that to know all that and you don't have his spirit and his his power and his presence see you could preach and teach about all that stuff and good and, and you can get people riled up but what does it do any good if you can't pray and lay hands on yourself your family your friends come on somebody hallelujah you, you know you got to understand it's time for us to stop in this game what's this game this is the entertainment game just entertain my flesh don't entertain my flesh come on somebody hallelujah Another characteristics of ministers of Satan, they transform one minute. They God, the next minute they'll cuss you out. <laughs> okay. Y'all want to play games one minute. Hallelujah. And the next minute they will curse you out. All right. Come on. Somebody. Hallelujah. Ministers of Satan. They draw people to themselves. They're trying to be famous. They're trying to be a star. They're not drawing people to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They're not healing people. They're not delivering people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's all a facade. It's all a game. It's prosperity. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Another characteristic of Satan is that what's coming out their mouth? Is, is, it, is it really good for your soul? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because God says that by their fruit. But here's the deal. What fruit are you eating? 
Oh, that's a good one right there. What fruit are you eating? Because when you eat the fruit of Christ, you are encouraged. You are blessed. You become deeper. Come on, somebody. You have wisdom. You have discernment. You understand the things of God like never before. But when you are just eating from everybody's table, you are in a state of confusion because you don't know what to believe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ministers of Satan don't even pick up their Bible. They just go straight off the top. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And to be honest with you, there are seducers. What are seducers? Seduce your spirit, your mind, your soul, your body, because they don't have the spirit of God. When you have the spirit of God, you ain't got to try to seduce nobody because number one, it's not you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is the spirit of God moving through you, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know it's tight, but it's right. So stop playing this game, says God. God says, what minister are you? He says, choose this day who you will serve. Come on, somebody. God or mammon. He said, because some of y'all, y'all repping both lines, trying to be in the middle. Come on, somebody. Playing that game. He says, you're going to either serve me with your whole heart or have none of me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, because what I'll do is I'll spew you out. I'd rather you hot or cold, but lukewarm, I'll spew you out, God says. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this is really real. Every I, I want you to let, let, let me give you an example. Yeah, I know y'all hear these rappers, whether y'all playing it yourselves or hearing it on the corner or driving by. Notice what they're preaching: murder, cursing a woman out, sex, drugs. That is ministers of Satan. Point blank in the story. What? Thank you, Lord. I hear you. What is feeding your spirit? Who is feeding your spirit? What are they putting in your spirit? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's the key right there. What are you allowing in your spirit? Because whatever spirit you're allowing in your spirit, that's what you have covenant with. Come on, somebody, there it is right there. Watch what you make covenant with. Watch who you make covenant with. Watch what you listen to. Watch what you adhere to, said the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's just the truth all day long. Hallelujah. So I pray you understand. I had to break it down real simple to the point. Because that's how simple it is. That's one thing about the Spirit of God. He, he'll teach it and preach it the way where everybody can understand, even a child. I ask again, are you of the God of Isaac and Jacob? Mr. of Satan. What are you sowing? Are you sowing good seeds? Or are you always mad, angry, upset, talking about people, complaining, murmuring, just like the children of Israel did in the wilderness? died come on some thousands because they were complaining come on somebody hallelujah so you have to ask yourself what spirit do you carry do you truly carry the spirit of god or do you carry the spirit of the hallelujah this stuff is just real because it's coming down see what god says in this hour the line is being drawn to know who is who you ain't gonna be able to perpetrate no more you are not going to be able to perpetrate because God said, I'm, I'm pouring all my spirit on all flesh. But more, more so, he was talking about wisdom and discernment. You will know. That's why God says to us to be steadfast, unmovable in the things of God. If it's not God, alone, I said that in my video yesterday. Leave it alone. Quit touching the unclean thing. Quit listening to stuff you ain't got no business. Don't compromise there. Compromise, because when you compromise, that's it. And, and let me tell you something. All it takes is a little. All it takes is a little. Let me tell you something. The devil don't need a full door open. He just need a. He just need a crack. And if there's a crack in your foundation, that bad boy. You know, my grandma them used to have the little saying. They say, "Don't give the devil a ride, cause he gonna wanna drive." Y'all, y'all get it. Point blank in the story. So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray that if you have. God, in any area of your life, listen very carefully, repent, and ask God, say, God, keep, I, I want to turn around, I want to, I want to be with you, God, repent, you have to repent, stop playing that game, like, everything is okay, and it's not, and you will know, because the actions in your life, you'll always know who's living for God, and you'll always been contrary from God, whether y'all believe it or not, because guess what? The signs will follow you. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Guess what y'all fail to realize? The scripture is real. Those signs will follow you. When you live for God, people will see the demonstration of the power of God. When you live for the devil, people will see the demonstration of the power of the devil. You can't fake that. You can't hide that. There's no way. The spirit is more real than the flesh. One day y'all gonna get that one too. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. 
So I pray that you understand what I was saying. Go back and replay it. I'm still under the weather, so excuse me, I look kind of stopped up. So um, you know how that is. So stay strong in the Lord. Get in your Bible, people. Read these days. I'm telling you, I'm telling you things. Things are coming quicker. Let me tell you something. This virus and all that stuff, that's a cover up. Oh, come on, somebody. One day we're going to wake up, it's going to be martial law. One day we're going to wake up, it's going to be new world order. One day we're going to wake up, the people are going to be coming. Knock on your doors, getting them Bibles. Mark my words. Just mark them. You ain't got to believe me. Just remember I said it. Playing games, big games. One thing about God, God will always tell his servants, prepare, prepare, beware, beware. Cry loud, spare not. And yet people still want to play like ain't nothing happening. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So God bless you. God keep you.